I was going to reproduce the tent camera project of Abe Morel, and I started thinking about setting it up, transporting it, and how things were going to work. And I decided just to build an ultra large format camera. What I wanted, I wanted to produce a look of an image that was really mine. I wanted something different. I wanted, I wanted my frontier. But if I could build my own process with a unique camera and something I could take wherever I wanted and apply to any subject matter, I could be always producing something that I could feel had my own unique look. For this lens to focus tightly on a half length portrait, the focal length is going to have to come out to one metre. It was suggested to me that this is a symmetrical lens. Um, I know that it is what's called a reversible lens, but I'm not sure it is a symmetrical lens. It has a, it's very heavy, has a very big hole in it, which is f9 at a focal length of 600mm. Fake leather looking vinyl from a fabric store, some plain cotton, and inside there is uh, what's called bellows stiffeners. This is a square bellows in that it doesn't have any tapering effect, and I, I strongly recommend anyone making their first bellows should definitely do a straight one. Before I made this, I did a paper model just to prove my ability to produce the pattern. This is uh, my rear standard made out of western red cedar. It has handmade dovetail joins, uh, but they'll do the job and it's nice and square. It's big enough to accommodate just slightly over 14 inches. This is the second half of my bellows, which will be needed to give me an extension of one meter, and it's uh, the folding wasn't completely successful. I'm going to consider uh, redoing this half, but I think I would like to have a functional camera before I put in so much more work into something that's more or less an aesthetic problem. I wanted this to be a simple camera that more or less just showcased the effect of ultra-large format and the characteristics of the lens. However, the depth of field is going to be so incredibly shallow that I decided tilt and swing movement was going to be necessary just to achieve a decent focus. Uh, or still, with all movement, it's going to be a very, very difficult camera to focus. But this is my front standard. Uh, it's got a couple of screws in it, it's more or less all timber joinery, uh, western red cedar again. It could be the experience of throwing the cloak over the head and looking at that inverted image on the ground glass. It could be holding that ultra large negative. It could just be my own inclination to make things hard. Hopefully I can produce a series of videos that lead to some unique looking portraits.